At first, it can be tricky to find a topic to research. After a while, though, it can get hard not to think about ideas for research almost all the time. When you get to that point, you'll find ideas in the topics that are interesting, frustrating, confusing, surprising. Imagine you get the idea. There are also a few more formal sources of research ideas. One way to get ideas for research is to actually just look at other research. You might read about findings in your textbooks or in other assigned readings. In some cases, the finding creates questions either because it's a variable that wasn't studied or because we want to ask what if in another way. I hope those are relatively obvious sources. In some cases, we'll also find contradictions between different studies that prompt us to ask what's more valid or what's more accurate. Similarly, we might question if there's an alternative explanation for the findings, prompting us to conduct similar research with additional variables. The concepts of basic and applied research can also help us with ideas for our own research. Basic research is conducted to generate knowledge for the sake of knowledge, while applied research investigates practical problems. Sometimes it takes a while to think about research ideas that fit into the basic category, but the idea of applied research might easily suggest ideas. As a side note, it's not always easy to decide if a project is basic or applied. When I saw the cartoon in this slide the first time, I immediately thought, what? He's doing applied research. And then I remembered it goes back to intention. His intention seemed to be to rub the sticks together. It was not it appeared to find a way to create fire or see how many times he had to rub the sticks together to create fire or to identify the types of stick that caught fire the fastest. Those would be applied questions. That said, when we're thinking about ideas for research, it's not important to think about trying to find basic ideas or applied ideas. I just find thinking about those distinctions helps with a sense of everything we can research.